Fakt att du är frios. Det är inte bara vad. Vi har en rapport där du är.
दिव्या एंड हरिका टू एस्कॉर्ट डॉक्टर डी एन राव कारू जनरल सेक्रेटरी विज्ञान ज्योति ऑन टू द डायस Welcome, sir. Thank you, Divya and Harita. I now request Poonima and Swati to escort Sri C V Rao Karu, the Chief Administrator of Vikram Jyoti, onto the dais. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Poonima and Swati. I now request Lakshmi and Krishna Vedi to escort Prof. C. V. Naidu Garu, Principal V. F. R. V. I. T. on the dance. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Lakshmi and Krishna Vedi. I now request Amulya and Manisha to escort Prof. K. S. P. Radha Krishna Garu. A very warm welcome, sir. Thank you, Amuli and Manisha. Achievement. 
He has also been honored with the Dada Sahib Falke Academy Trophy as film producer, distributor, exhibitor, and studio owner in the year 2005. Sri Venkateshwara University, Shripati conferred on Ramanaidu Gauru, an honorary doctorate for his achievement. It is indeed an honor to have you, sir, as the president of Vignanjur. Thank you. Thank you, Ani. May I request the president of today's function, Dr. Ramana Dugaru, to address the gathering and preside over the function. Sabak Namaskaro. Me and Dr. Namaskaro. Me and the speaker of the gathering. Me and the worker. 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 Good evening everybody. I am very glad and happy to be here this evening for the annual day function of BNR Vignana Jyoti Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today I would like to give an important advice to all the students on this particular occasion. I will try not to give too much but just a little bit. The Gita teaches us to put our whole mind and work without a thought to the results. This calls for strength of mind. If we come up to desire for the results, it is a source of weakness. Success comes un unasked and unsought to the strong. If you are weak, you will be overcome by failure, sorrow or disease. There are times when you are going to do well and times when you are going to fail. But neither the doing well nor the failure is the measure of success. The measure of success is what you think about what you have done. Let me put that another way. The way to be happy is to like yourself and the way to like yourself is to do only things that make you proud. There is that old joke, yes, old joke, not very funny, but goes no matter where you go. There you are. That's true, the person who you are always with somebody you don't like. Self-confidence is the key to winning, to excel, excelling no matter what you do in life. What is the secret of develop your self-confidence? First, you resolve to grow intellectually, morally, technically and professionally everybody, every day through you your entire work. Last but not the least, as it always goes, that knowledge is power and this is the power with which you can achieve all your dreams in your life. I wish each one of you to excel in your studies by getting good marks and bringing a good name to our college and lead a successful life in the future. Good luck to all.
मूवी मेकिंग एट आई आई टी हैदराबाद बैक सेकेंड प्राइज अंबाब शरीफ एट बेल सिटी टू थाउजेंड टेन एट ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद बैक सेकेंड प्राइज ग्रुप सिंगिंग टर्ड्स बेल सिटी टू थाउजेंड टेन एट ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद एंड बैक थर्ड प्राइज ग्रुप सिंगिंग कॉम्पिटिशन बॉयज बेल सिटी टू थाउजेंड टेन एट ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद then creative arts club back at first prize in packet that is what is called face painting for the team is confusion felicity at felicity 2010 at triple eight hyderabad and back at second prize in paper dressing at felicity triple eight hyderabad hearty congratulations to the winners of prizes and the members and convenience of various clubs for achieving this Normally, extracurricular activities try to evolve from an inner to be a biological being with technical background to a spiritual, social being of enjoyment and entertainment, spreading into multi-dimensional aspects of life. If this is not there, what we are seeing every day in newspapers is going to happen. ECA, that means extracurricular activities, teach how to shake hands. With hearts, not merely with hands. Remember, a house is built, but where a home is built. Now, the entertaining home activities are the secret of a happy home around you. Make thy life happier by resorting to your hobbies of interest. My deepest gratitude to all the members of the extracurricular activity committee. including the students and my sincere thanks to the administration and management for extending support to all my trials in fulfilling my duty as chairman of the ECA committee thank you all thank you sir that was a interesting year indeed may i now request our principal to present the annual report for the activity year 2019 respected dr d n nidhi garu vice chancellor jntu hyderabad dr d ramanayudu garu president vignan jyoti dr d n rao garu general secretary vignan jyoti ch chavideshwar rao garu administrator chief administrator vignan jyoti parents students and staff good evening everybody vallur palli nageshwara vignan jyoti institute of engineering and technology was sponsored by vignan jyoti society was established in that in the academic year 1995 96 with the permission of all india council for technical education new delhi and government of andhra pradesh so we are offering eight uc and that means btech programs and eight pg programs with a total intake of uh, 864 students all the courses offered by the institute are affiliated to jawaharlal nehru technological university hyderabad and uh, our all ug courses are accredited by national board of accreditation aicg in new delhi the institute is completing its completing its 15th year of uh, establishment and the 12th batch of uh, btech students admitted in 2006 will be passing out during may june 2010 the management staff wish them a bright and successful future in all their endeavors IICT has sanctioned an initial intake of 60 each in BTech civil engineering and mechanical engineering and permission to start BTech automobile engineering with an intake of 60 and Chemtech electronical instrumentation engineering is also has been sanctioned with an intake of 18 students these courses will be included in the admissions list in the next uh, next academic year and we have uh, sent an application for integrated campus status and for an additional intake of uh, uh, in electrical and electronics instrumentation and uh, information technology in addition to have a five year integrated dual degree program in computer science with uh, with an additional uh, with an intake of 30 students and also been submitted to submitted for approval to aicp the institute also has submitted an application to aicp for permitting uh, new pg programs for the academic year 2000 11 from this year polytechnic course with an intake of 60 each in civil engineering typically mechanical and ec are being offered in the second shift after approval was obtained 
by the uh, appeal from the government of Andhra Pradesh and AACTE. The institute has spent about 16 crores this year for about 3.62 crores for equipment, 17 lakhs for the student related activities, 28 lakhs for the library and 22 lakhs for the roads and buildings, 34 lakhs for the electrical equipment, 26 lakhs for the furniture, 19 lakhs for sports and games and around 8 crores for the employees, salaries and the benefits. A new academic block to house civil and mechanical engineering department is coming up with a place area of 1 lakh 2,000 square feet comprising ground plus 4 floors. The construction was, work has been started. The total establishment cost building of work 849 lakhs. I am glad to share with you the fact that AACT has sanctioned 43 lakhs for the modernization of the existing laboratories for the department of ECE, IT, EPLE and civil engineering departments under their modern schemes. We have also applied for a grant of 40 lakhs under the research promotion schemes to AACT and has been invited for make, to make our presentation at AACT New Delhi. And we have established a digital library with an investment of about 18 lakhs out of which 50 lakhs grant was obtained from the DPET funding agency through high-end server and uh, claims a learning material from foreign universities and IITs and NIT professors. To meet the non-local students' demand for hostels, from this academic year, we have provided hostel facility to boys and girls, girl students in Bachupalli village, which is just three kilometers away from the institute. The present strength of the faculty of the institute on roles is 169, and the support staff, supporting staff is around 131. There are 14 professors, 51 associate professors, one or two assistant professors and lecturers. There are about 22 PhD degree holders, another 45 members are at various stages of their PhD work. The management instituted several incentives to the teaching staff and this year the institute has spent nearly 24 lakhs on incentives training programs, conferences, medical benefits, etc. I am glad to inform that about uh, 200 teachers have been trained, for, uh, trained for, uh, attended the training programs organized by IITs, NITs and JNT and other institutes. Our institute has conducted around 40 short term courses on teaching methodologies, micro teaching, research methodologies and also on, other, on various technical subjects. Our faculty members have presented uh, about 20 papers in national and international conferences this year. We have in total about uh, 2,500 students in the campus and this year around uh, 577 students are graduating or uh, completing their studies this year. Many of our students are doing well in the last year, pass out batch. 72% so of them have obtained first classes and overall percentage of pass is 86. To name a few of achievements of our students, P. Soman awarded University Gold Medal for Best Outgoing Student in Final Year Civil Engineering. Among all the JNDU H affiliated engineering colleges in Andhra Pradesh. Apurva Rao of Final Year EAE was awarded D.V. Raju Endowment Gold Medal 2009, instituted by the Instrument Society of India for being the topper in all EAE branches of engineering in the state on 15th September 2009. J. Sheshidhar of EAE secured All India 7th rank in GATE 2010 examination. And B. Arun Kumar of also EAE got 86th rank in GATE 2010 examination. K. Rahul of Fort Pitek EAE secured 92 percentile in CAT examination. Keeping in view of the standard skills that are required for employment, the training and placement cell of our institute has organized about 15 training programs for the students to experts, uh, by the experts from the industry and other organizations. BNR Vijay final year students of 2010 batch finally broke the recession 
and uh, 175 students got selected from prestigious and value-based companies. And few of them, M-Tech students also received offer letters. We are glad to inform you that the research has become the thrust area in VNR VJIET. Research and Consultancy Center was created at VNR VJIET to encourage research in the cross-domain projects areas useful to industry. Industry Institute Interaction Cell is also being established and both the uh, uh, IIC and uh, RCC was being headed by Dr. P. M. P. Sony, former AGM, BHL, R&D and is a professor of electrical engineering. The faculty and students of CNR VJIT are working through many research projects. Few of them are driving simulator at RCC through a in collaboration with AutoSim Norway and uh, X Design Ventures Private Limited Hyderabad. So they are trying to develop a uh, driving simulator for automobile driving learning. An automated commando training system has been developed to train and uh, train the commandos in, in simulated environment of terror attack. Prototype unit have been demonstrated at uh, 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 National Police Academy and this project has commercial, uh, ready for commercial deployment uh, uh, with reference to the police. <coughs> the mobile image positioning and performance acquisition system is also being developed to monitor the performance of the driver while driving the vehicle and to monitor the vehicle position from central, central station. This project is under uh, uh, development and is use, useful for fleet management control and the prevention of road accidents. Students of Mechanical Engineering Department have developed a race car, Formula Race Car, and participated in competition in Australia, <laughs> for which the management has funded around 8 lakh rupees. And, uh, and the same students and the different batch of students are, uh, are in the process of developing an hybrid car in the recent past to go. <coughs> In addition to the above, the faculty members have taken up internal projects and research uh, uh, and the respective departments. Some of them are part of their PhD work. A total of, of about 70 faculty members are involved in research. This year, revenue from research and development consultancy is around nearly 20 lakh rupees. Uh, coming to the co-curricular and extracurricular activities, some of the important milestones are <coughs> slash 2010. All India, <coughs> sorry, Inter Engineering College Sports Fest, which drew a participation of about 72 colleges and represented by 680 teams, around 2,000 students participated. We have conducted a Foundation Day lecture of our institute, the science establishment and individual identity, the past, present, and future, by Dr. Lalji Singh, former director, CCMB. Four-day camp conducted by our NSS team at Railapur village in May 2010. Uh, they conducted social and educational and health awareness campaigns in the village. I take this opportunity on this occasion to thank the, all the sponsors, management, staff and students for our flood relief victims in Kanwal district and also for the treatment of Madhavaretti 4th B.Tech Triple E Engineering who is suffering from cancer. initiatives that are there at our campus to, to enhance the learning aptitude of the students we have initiated what is called as VNR protocol for laboratories and classroom teaching using audio visual presentation so we are in the process of developing uh, our laboratories as a virtual industry labs I conclude by expressing my satisfaction at the institute being able to stride along the map the path of development and also academic achievement and I wish all the outgoing students best of luck. Thank you. Thank you sir. This shows that we haven't broken our habit of success. Now I request Sri C. V. Rao Garu, Chief Administrator for Vignan Jyoti to address the CAT. Sabatu Namaskar. Pedalo, Nesman Putunaru, 
మా కోరిక ఏమిటంటే ఇక్కడ మేము అక్కడ మీరు అంటే ఇంటి దగ్గర తల్లిదండ్రులు కాలేజీలో మా ఫ్యాకల్టీ మేము కూర్చుంటున్నాం పిల్లల్ని ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ అక్కడే ఇంటికి వెళ్ళగానే వాళ్ళ అమ్మ ఒక గ్లాసు బోర్డ పెట్టి ఇచ్చేసి నాన్న వాళ్ళు ఏంటి హోంవర్క్ చేసేవాని అమ్మ బాధ పెడుతూ ఉంటుంది వీడేమో అన్నీ చేశానమ్మా అన్నీ చేసేసానని అమ్మకు అబద్ధం చెప్పేసి మరొక రోజు వచ్చి ఎవరినో రాయిని చేసి వాడిని రేపు వాళ్ళ నా హోంవర్క్ అంత నువ్వు చేసి పెట్టరా నేను క్లాసు తీసుకెళ్తానంటాడు వాడి ఇలా ఈ విధంగా సాగిపోయినటువంటి ఎంతో సంతోషదాయకమైనటువంటి నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు ఇక్కడ నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు పర్టికులర్లీ ఐఎమ్ డాక్ ఫ్రమ్ ది ఫైవ్ ఇయర్ పాయింట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూ నిన్న సాయంత్రం స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇక్కడ పాటలు పాడుతూ నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు కలిసి మెలిసి ఉన్నాము మా ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ బ్రదర్స్ సిస్టర్స్ వెళ్ళిపోతున్నారు అంటే మాకు ఎంతో బాధగా ఉంది అలాగే సంతోషంగా ఉంది అనే దృష్టితో వాళ్ళు పాడిన పాట నన్ను ఎంతో ఆకర్షించింది దీనికి కారణం ఏంటంటే వాడు ఎంతో మంచితనంతో ఒకప్పుడు రగిడితో కొట్టుకున్న అక్కడి నుంచి తక్కువ జనం కొత్తడులను తిట్టిన మేము వాళ్ళని తిట్టినా ఏం జరిగినా కూడాను ఈ పార్టింగ్ అనేది చాలా బాధాకరమైనటువంటి విషయం మా పోటీ పెద్దల కంటే తెలుసు ఎందుకంటే మేము అమ్మాయి నాతగారిని పంపించే రోజు సహజంగా ఏడుస్తూనే పంపిస్తాం అలాగే అల్లుడు వచ్చిన తర్వాత కూడా సంతోషిస్తాం కానీ మొదటి తర్వాత ఎలా చూసుకుంటాడు అని కూడా బాధపడుతూ ఉంటాం అంటే అంటే అబ్బాయి గురించి అయినా అంతే అల్లుడి గురించి అయినా కూడా అంతే కానీ అలా కాకుండా ఇవాళ సిద్ధాంతం ఎలా మారిందంటే ప్రత్యేకంగా ఎంసెట్ అయ్యే అంత వరకు కూడా తల్లిదండ్రులు మా అబ్బాయి ఎంసెట్ 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 అయిపోతుంది ర్యాంక్ ర్యాంకు ర్యాంక్ ఎక్కడ వచ్చింది వాళ్ళకి ర్యాంక్ తక్కువ వచ్చినందుకు బాధ కాదు కాదు పక్కింటి అబ్బాయికి ర్యాంక్ చాలా పెద్దది వచ్చింది అని ఆ విధంగా ఇలా మనం అంటే ఇంటి దగ్గర తల్లిదండ్రులు ఈ విధంగా మన సంతృప్తి కొరకు మన ప్రిస్టేజ్ పెరగడం కొరకు సొసైటీలో మన పిల్లల్ని బాధ పెట్టి చదివిస్తూ ఉంటాము అలాగే ఇక్కడ మేము కాలేజీలు మా ఫ్యాకల్టీ వాళ్ళ ప్రిస్టేజ్ పెరగడం కొరకు మాకు యూనివర్సిటీలో ర్యాంకులు రావాలి యూనివర్సిటీ ఫస్ట్ రావాలి అన్నింటిలో పార్టిసిపేట్ చేయాలని చెప్పి వాళ్ళు బాధిస్తూనే ఉంటారు ఈ బాధల్ని ఆ బాధల్ని కూడా తట్టుకుంటూ అన్యోన్యంగా నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు ఇక్కడ కలిసి మలిసి తిరిగి వీరందరూ కూడా కష్టపడి చదువుకొని బయటకు వెళుతున్నారు ఒక బ్యాచ్ మాత్రం అంటే ఐదు వందల నలభై మంది మాత్రమే ఈ సంవత్సరం మా దగ్గర నుంచి బయటకు వెళతారనమాట ఈ ఐదు వందల నలభై మందిలో అప్పుడే మా పార్థసారథి గారు ప్లేస్మెంట్ ఆఫీసర్ ఒక నూట పది మందికో నూట ఇరవై మందికో ఉద్యోగాలు ఇప్పించినట్టు ఉన్నాడు ఈ ఉద్యోగాలు మొదటి రోజు నుంచి ఇది ఉద్యోగం అనమాట ఉద్యోగంలో ఆ ఉద్యోగం ఎంత వచ్చింది మీ వాడికి ఎంత శాలరీ వచ్చింది మా అమ్మాయికి ఎంత శాలరీ వచ్చింది ఇందులో ఏమో తేడా ఉందా మన ఈ కంపెనీలో ఎందుకు చేరాలి ఇంకో కంపెనీకి ఎందుకు ఎడకూడదు అని ఇదే ఆలోచన మరి ఉదయం వచ్చి సాయంత్రం వరకు కూడా చదువుకోవాలని ఒక బాధ చదివించాలని ఒక బాధ చదువు వచ్చిన తర్వాత ఉద్యోగం రావాలని ఇంకో బాధ ఆ ఉద్యోగంలో ఎంత ముందు వచ్చిందని మూడో బాధ ఆ తర్వాత ఇక సంబంధాలు ఎక్కడ మా వాడికి ఎలాంటి వాళ్ళు అని ఈ విధంగా ఈ విధంగా తల్లిదండ్రులు అక్కడ ఉపాధ్యాయులు ఇక్కడ మేనేజ్మెంట్ వేరెక్కడో ఉండి నానా బాధ పడుతూ మిమ్మల్ని అందరూ కూడా పై ఇవన్నీ కూడా కష్టాలు అనుకోవచ్చు ఒక విధంగా చూడాలంటే మీకు సంతోషం కూడా తప్పట్లు కొడుతూ ఉండొచ్చు ఇవన్నీ కూడా మీరు కూడా చేయబోయే పని ఉత్తర ఉత్తర ఇది ఒకరి పని ఒకరి నుంచి ఒకరికి తాతంతం దగ్గర నుంచి కూడా వస్తున్నటువంటి సాంప్రదాయం అనమాట కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే మనం ఏదో ఒక సాయంకాలం వేళ తలని సంధ్యా సమయంలో ఇలాంటి మాటలు చెప్పుకుంటే చాలా ఆనందంగా సంతోషంగా ఉంటామని అనే దృష్టితో మీకు నేను చెప్తున్నాను నా ప్రత్యేకమైన కోరిక ఏంటంటే ఎలాగో మా పిల్లలు మా వాళ్ళు అంటే ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ దగ్గర నుంచి ఫైనల్ ఇయర్ వరకు కూడా నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలు ఇక్కడ చూస్తున్నారు మమ్మల్ని చూస్తారు బట్ అదేవిధంగా పేరెంట్స్ని ఎక్కువగా నా రిక్వెస్ట్ ఏంటంటే పేరెంట్స్ అప్పుడప్పుడు వచ్చి వారి క్లాస్ టీచర్ నాకు తెలుసు మీ అబ్బాయి రానివాడు మీ అమ్మాయి కూడా వద్దంటుంది మమ్మీ నువ్వు రావద్దు అక్కడ కాలేజీకి వస్తే నన్ను మా క్లాస్ మేట్స్ ఇన్సర్ట్ చేస్తారు రావద్దు మమ్మీ అంటుంది కొద్దిగా ఆమెకి చెప్పకుండా రండి మేము ఆల్వేస్ మీ వెళ్తాం మేము మీరు వచ్చి మా దగ్గరికి వచ్చి మాతో ఉండి మా అమ్మాయి ఎలా ఉంది మా అబ్బాయి ఎలా ఉన్నాడు ఎలా చదువుకుంటున్నాడు ఎందుకంటే మాకు కొంత ధైర్యం వస్తుంది మీరు కూడా కొంత బాధ్యత మీరు ఆ బాధ్యతను మర్చిపోకూడదు మా బాధ్యత అయిపోయింది మా అబ్బాయి కంసే ట్రాక్ వచ్చింది మీ కాలేజీలో సీట్ వచ్చింది ఇంకా ఏంటి మీ అన్నారు మీ జ్ఞాన అయితే అయిపోయింది కానీ మా బాధలు ఇక్కడ అందింత కాదు మా పంతులు ఉదయం నుంచి సాయంత్రం దాకా పడే బాధలు పాపం వాళ్ళకే తెలుసు మాకు కూడా ఒకసారి మర్చిపోయి వాళ్ళని తిడుతూ ఉంటాం కానీ అందుకనే
చాలా పెద్ద మనిషి డాక్టర్ డిఎన్ రెడ్డి గారు మరి ఎంతో కాలంగా ఆయన అతి నైపుణ్యంగా ఉస్మానియా యూనివర్సిటీలో ప్రొఫెసర్ గా పనిచేసి జయంటి వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ గా వచ్చి ఇవాళ మన దగ్గర వచ్చి మన అడ్డ చేయడానికి వచ్చాడంటే మన అందరం కూడా ఎంతో ఆనందించాల్సిన విషయం మరి ఆయనకి అంటే నేను చెప్పే విషయాలన్నీ ఆయనకి కూడా తెలుసు ఆయనకి కూడా తెలుసు కానీ ఆయనకి తెలియాలని దృష్టిగా చెబుతున్నాను నేను మరి మీరందరూ కూడా ప్రత్యేకంగా పిల్లలు తప్ప ఎక్కడ ఉండదు పిల్లలు సామాన్యంగా ఎక్కడో మేము చూసాం కదా మా వాళ్ళ దగ్గర మూడు వేల మంది ఉంటే ముప్పై మంది మాత్రమే ఉంటారు అలా చేసేవాళ్ళు నా కోరిక ప్రకారం మూడు వందల మంది ఉండాలని కానీ ముప్పై మంది ఉంటారు ఆ ముప్పై మంది కూడా అల్లరి చేయకుండా ఉంటే ఇంకా బాగుంటుందని వైఎస్ ఛాన్సలర్ అనుకుంటాడు ఎందుకంటే ఆయనకి ముప్పై మందే కాదు మొత్తం మరి ఆ యూనివర్సిటీకి ఇవాళ ఎఫిలియేట్ అయ్యి ఉన్నటువంటి కాలేజీలో రెండు వందల డెబ్బై ఐదు పైన ఉన్నాయి మరి ఎంతో మంది ఉన్నారు అన్ని చోట నుంచి కూడా అన్ని బాధలు ఉంటుంటాయి ఇవన్నీ కూడా చూశారు వారు మరి మన బాధలు కూడా చూశారు మన సౌకర్యాలు కూడా చూశారు మన పేరెంట్స్ని కూడా చూశారు మన విద్యార్థులను కూడా చూశారు నేను చూశాను ప్రత్యేక ఎందుకు చెబుతున్నానంటే మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఎప్పుడు వస్తూ ఉంటారు మీ కాలేజీలో వచ్చిందంటే మా అమ్మాయి డెఫినెట్గా యూనివర్సిటీ ఫస్ట్ వస్తుందని నేను చెబుతుంది తల్లి ఆ అమ్మాయి పాపం నవ్వుకుంటూ ఉంటుంది వెనక నా వెనక కొంచెం నవ్వుతూ ఉంటుంది లేదో సీట్ తోపడం కొరకని సీట్ తీసుకోవడం కొరకు అంటుంది అల్లి అని అలాగే ఇంకొక అబ్బాయి వచ్చి అంటాడు మీరు మీరు నాకు అడ్మిషన్ ఇవ్వండి మీ బాస్కెట్ బాల్ టీం నేనే ఫస్ట్ వస్తాను యూనివర్సిటీ నుంచి అంటాడు ఇక్కడ బాస్కెట్ బాల్ కోర్టు డైమెన్షన్స్ కూడా తెలియవు ఆయనకి కానీ బాస్కెట్ బాల్ లో నేను తీసుకొస్తాను అంటాడు అలా ఎందుకంటే ఇవన్నీ అవతారాలు కూడా నేను అన్నం ఆత్రత ఆ తాపత్రం అదంతా కూడా ఏంటంటే నా బిడ్డ చాలా గొప్పవాడు అయిపోవాలి అలాంటి బిడ్డ తీసుకొని మీ దగ్గర పెడితే మీరు ఇంకా కొంచెం పెద్ద అని చేస్తారు ఆ విధంగా సొసైటీలో మా గౌరవం పెరిగిపోతుంది మాకు కూడా పెరుగుతుంది గౌరవం అనే దృష్టితో మీరు మేము అందరం కూడా చాలా ప్రయత్నం చేస్తున్నాం నా సిద్ధాంతం నా కోరిక ఏంటంటే పేరెంట్స్ చాలా తక్కువ మంది వచ్చారు మీ పిల్లలు వద్దన్నా సరే మీరు ఈ యాన్యువల్ డే ఫంక్షన్ కలిగి ఎందుకంటే ఇది దిస్ ఇస్ ఏ డిపార్టింగ్ డే మేము ఇవాళ ఇంకా పిల్లలు రెండు ఢిల్లీకి రెండు చదువుకున్నా ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ రాయాల్సి ఉన్నా కూడా రేపటి నుంచి వాళ్ళ ప్రతిరోజు అయ్యి మనం ఇంకో రెండు నెలలు ఈ క్యాంపస్ వదిలిపెట్టి పోతాం కావాలి మన మిత్రులు అందరూ వదిలిపెట్టి పోతాం వాళ్ళు ఎక్కడ కలుసుకుంటాము ఈ ఆలమన ఆలమన అసోసియేషన్ పెట్టారు వాళ్ళకి అంత పెద్ద ఉంది కానీ పిలిస్తే మొత్తం ఎంత మొత్తం సిటీలో మేము లక్ష రూపాయలు ఖర్చు పెడితే ముప్పై మంది కూడా రాదు కారణం ఏంటంటే వాళ్ళు ఉద్యోగాలు వాళ్ళని వదిలిపెట్టరు వాళ్ళు ఆ రోజు సెలవు వాళ్ళు వీలు పడరు ఇలా ప్రతి వాళ్ళని కూడా మన యాంగ్జైటీతో మన మన ఆతృతతో మన సమయాన్ని మనం సరిగా వాడుకోలేకుండా పోతున్నాం కాబట్టి నా ప్రత్యేకమైన కోరిక ఏంటంటే పేరెంట్స్ మీరు ఎంత పెద్ద ఉద్యోగస్తులు అయినా ఎంత పెద్ద ఇండస్ట్రీస్ అయినా ఎంత బిజీగా ఉన్నా అప్పుడప్పుడు కాస్త కాలేజీకి వచ్చి మరి పిల్లల్ని చూడకపోయినా మా కనీసం మా టీచర్స్ని చూసి వాళ్ళు పడే బాధలు మీరు ఒకసారి అర్థం చేసుకొని వాళ్ళని మంచి మనసుతో చూస్తారని తర్వాత మీ పిల్లలతో కూడా ఏదో తప్పు చేసినా కూడా పిల్లలు తప్పు చేయాలి పిల్లలు చేయకపోయినా మనం చేయలేము ఉసరాడు మనం తప్పు చేస్తాం మనం తప్పులు చేసేయాలి మనం చెప్పాలి ఆ తప్పును దిద్దాలి ఎందుకంటే తప్పు అనేది తెలిసి సామాన్యంగా ఎవరు చేయరు ఎవరైనా చేసుకున్నారు అంటే వాళ్ళు చెప్తే నేర్చుకుంటే చాలా పైకి వస్తారు కాబట్టి నా సిద్ధాంతం ఏంటంటే ఓన్లీ రోగిలాగా ఉండడం కంటే భోగిలాగా నేను సజ్జాగా ఉండి కాలేజీకి వచ్చినా కూడా సంతోషంగా చదువుకొని పైకి రావాలని వీళ్ళన్నిటి కూడా ముఖ్యమైన కావాలి అంటే మంచి క్యారెక్టర్ కావాలి అందుకే చెబుతారు పెద్దలు మామూలుగా ఆరోగ్యం పోతే హాస్పిటల్కి వెళ్ళి డబ్బు కడితే వస్తుంది డబ్బులు పోతే కష్టపడితే సంపాదించుకోవచ్చు కానీ బుద్ధి పోతే మాత్రం మీకు గడ్డి తిన్నా కూడా రాదు అని అందుకని మరి ఆ బుద్ధిని మాత్రం జాగ్రత్తగా పెట్టుకోవాలని మనం అందరం కోరుకుందాం మరి మరి ఈ సా ఈ శుభ సందర్భంలో మీరందరూ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెళ్ళిపోతున్నారంటే మరి ఇంకా రెండు నెలలు ఉంటారనుకోండి నేను వస్తాను అప్పుడు కూడా చూస్తాను మీరు ఎక్కడెక్కడ తిరుగుతున్నారు ఎక్కడెక్కడ అలా చేస్తున్నారు ఏ చెట్టు కింద కూర్చుంటున్నారు ఏంటో కూడా చూస్తాను కష్టపడండి బాగా ఎగ్జామ్స్ బాగా రాయండి మీరు అందరూ కూడా పాస్ అవుతారు తప్పుకుంటారు తర్వాత అటెండెన్స్ కూడా కనీసం ఈ రెండు నెలలో కూడా రెగ్యులర్గా రండి ఎందుకంటే వైఎస్ సంస్థ గారు సాక్షిగా చెబుతున్నారు మా పిల్లలు తప్పకుండా ఈ రెండు నెలలు కాలేజీకి వస్తారు వాళ్ళ పూర్తి అటెండెన్స్ వస్తుంది మైనస్ లేకుండా చూసుకుంటారని చెప్పి ఆశీర్వదించుకొని వైఎస్ సంస్థ గారిని రిక్వెస్ట్ చేస్తూ నాకు ఈ కొద్ది సమయాన్ని ఇచ్చినందుకు మరి ఆర్గనైజర్స్కి థ్యాంక్స్ చెప్తూ మీకు అందరికీ కూడా శుభాకాంక్షలు థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ Thank you sir i think every one of us over here students staff and parents will connect with what you have just said i now request dr dn rao garu our general secretary to speak a few words good evening to good evening to all of you professor dn redd
think the campus has become very hectic. It is uh, becoming almost like a festive look from last uh, one month. I think we had a games uh, 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 competition, we had a convergence, we had uh, now the annual day. I think it's a very, very colorful uh, functions. Uh, and uh, now uh, it's uh, unfortunate from tomorrow onwards we have to go through the books. I think basically <clears throat> the, the principal was mentioning that today's, uh, today we have about 2,500 students. From the management perspective, we hope by 2015, that's five years from now, the strength will be approximately 5,500 people. And more important will be there will be 1,000 postgraduates in this campus by then. The purpose of introducing post-graduation is so that the general learning will be from a higher platform. You will learn from research, from MPEX, from PhDs, and the BTECs also will get a tremendous benefit out of this growth. I've been uh, uh, interacting with final year students mostly whenever they're going out this year. I hope it will happen soon. And it is because of their advice, their interaction, we've been developing the institution in a, in a positive manner. We take them into confidence, for example, the student activity center that you see, that your, uh, is in front of you, is from, the, uh, uh, from a session from the final year students about two years ago. They made a suggestion, we promised to implement it, and within one year they have built this center. And also when I built the center, I promised that none of the faculty members will enter into this student center, and I'm glad I think they are following this practice. <laughs> Similarly, last year, in order to enhance the quality of uh, sort of time that you spend in the institution, we promised a hostel, facility, hostel facility. We have created a facility for 200 people, and this year there are about 80 people that will join, and hopefully next year it will be complete. And by 2015, hopefully this will be a residential campus, where you will have more time to study and work. At the moment, I am aware you are spending about one, one and a half hours just traveling in, and one and a half hours going back. It's a drain on your energy and on your time, we realize it. And by 2015, we assure, we assure you that all the students of Vijnana Yodhi will have a hostel facility. And as the uh, principal has mentioned, uh, students of mechanical engineering and civil engineering uh, has a reason to celebrate because probably in 18 months from now, you will have one lakh square feet of your own premises that is coming up all the day. And I also promised each year students, if I get six gold medals within the next three years, I will construct them a world-class center for ECE and computer people. But the, condition, but the condition remains, you have to get six gold medals from Dr. Ray, Dr. B. and Reddy within three years. At the moment, my inbox is uh, empty. I have no request from anybody. Whatever request the students have made, I have fulfilled their promises and during the interaction in the next couple of months, I look forward for your sessions, which will be taken very seriously and which will be implemented. Now today we are very fortunate in having Dr. Reddy, uh, Dr. D. and Reddy in front of us. I had an interaction with him from last uh, almost couple of hours and it was such an immense pleasure coming from an industry to interact with an academician like that is always a uh, it's always a learning experience. During this uh, couple of hours, I think uh, uh, Dr. Reddy promised me a few things. Not promised, but mentioned, but I take it as a promise. The first one is, I think he promised to look into the treating our research center as a universally recognized research center. <laughs> so whatever is uh, required to make it happen from our side, we are prepared to do it. But hopefully next year, I think under our letterhead, hope we will have university recognized as a center under uh, environment uh, uh, course. The second promise, and the most important uh, promise that I uh, received from him is, he will be generous 
I repeat, you will be generous in granting PhD scholar, uh, PhD uh, accommodate for PhD degrees from the faculty side. Already, from the last two years, we made a lot of effort, and today, as, Mr., uh, as uh, Professor Nigel has mentioned, we had 22 PhDs with us, and we were able to influence 45 faculty members to register for, for PhDs. It is a good achievement. So you are you you are learning basically from people who are doing research, and that means you are learning not what the teachers have learned in those days, but you are learning from people who are, who are learning today the current subjects. That is the purpose of uh, uh, of encouraging the PhDs among the faculties. Uh, and the third. Uh, uh, the, the third interaction that I had with Dr. Deggy was uh, the sharing of the e-learning material. We have been very generous and fortunate, I think we have a guest here, that we had an e e uh, uh, facility here where you can get the same quality of material as in Stanford, Harvard, Princeton, and in any Caltech. All those lecture materials are available with us in our, uh, in our library under this uh, category. And we are developing our own lecture materials, and probably most of you have read the, the paper that Dr. Brady has taken initiative for e-learning. We have followed with great interest. With all these initiatives, I'm sure our president, uh, Dr. Raman Aydara, will say every time when I say, uh, look at Dr. D. and Rao, in whichever organization I am in, it has to be number one. I don't know about two. But for me, it is giving sleepless nights. Okay. And uh, uh, Dr. Nagara, I think we are all uh, aiming, and sure uh, we will make it, at least if not in the world, at least in the next coming few years, it will be number one in Hyderabad initially. And quite soon, it will be a, a, a very prestigious institution among the country, and probably slowly we will have a global recognition once this education opens up. That is, uh, that is, uh, that is my promise to you. And finally, uh, let me congratulate all the parents who are here to receive the, uh, uh, to receive the medals on the behalf of their awards. And let me congratulate all the, uh, all the students uh, who won the medals. Uh, I look forward to uh, joining you in clapping for them. And for the rest of you, my very, very best wishes and have a, a long time here. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Very impressive future, and we all are proud to be a part of this institution. Now, Parvesh from next second year will now introduce our chief guest, Sri Dr. P. N. Redikar. Good evening, everyone. I now take the privilege of introducing to you the Vice Chancellor of JD of Hyderabad, Dr. D. N. Redikar. Dr. D. N. Redikar did his B.E. in Osmania University in Mechanical Engineering, and he passed out in the year 1974. Dr. D. N. Redikaro did his MTech in IIT Madras in Mechanical Engineering and he passed out in the year 1976. He did his PhD in IIT Delhi in Mechanical Engineering and he passed out in the year 1986. Dr. D. N. Reddy has a total of 24 years of teaching experience. He was the lecturer in the University College of Engineering, Osmania University from the year 1980 to 1983. He was the reader in the University College of Engineering, Osmania University from the year 1983 to 1991. He was the professor in the University College of Engineering, Osmania University, from the year 1991 until he became the Vice Chancellor of JNT of Hyderabad. He was served as the SSO2 Independence Research and Development from the year 1976 to 1978. He was a development engineer in Hyderabad Industries from the year 1987 to 1980. His research projects include AICT sponsored project on technology forecasting and assessment of power plant fly ash disposal techniques and energy recovery systems for the academic year 1993 to 1995. MNES sponsored project under research and development on wind electric water pumping to rural applications 2000 to 2001. TPK private limited Hyderabad sponsored project on study of status of energy technology and power sector initiators in India during the year 2002 to 2003. CITA, Canada sponsored research project on revamping of old polyonic thermal power plants by an environmental remaining CFPC technology for two years, 2002 to 2004. Ministry of Coal project on SNT project on agglomeration formation and reducing condition in pressurized fluidized bed gasification, PFPG, 
with low rank high ash goals for rupees 327.73 lakhs with CFRI CMPBIL for three years, that is from 2003 to 2006. He has presented papers in 30 national conferences, 18 international conferences, and has published papers in 10 national journals. He has also organized and participated in many short term courses and workshops. And he has a fellowship of various academic bodies and professional societies. He is the life member of Indian Society for Technical Education, ISV. He is the life member of Indian Society for Mechanical Engineers, ISME. He is the life member of National Society of Fluid Mechanics and Fluid Power, SFM and FP. He is the life member of Institution of Engineers, India. His honors and awards are as follows. He received the Vijay Ratna Award and Certificate of Excellence instituted by India International Friendship Society, Delhi, 1999. He received the Eminent Engineer Award from the Institution of Engineers, Tirupati Chapter, 2000. He was awarded the 2000 Millennium Medal of Honor instituted by the American Biographical Institute, USA, 2000. He received the Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan National Award for the Best Engineering College Principal for the year 2003 at 33rd ISE National Convention held at Coimbatore, December 2003. He has guided four PhDs and ten postgraduate dissertations. We are extremely honored by your presence, sir. Thank you, Parvesh. Now I request the Chief Guest, Dr. D. N. Reddy Garu, to address the gallery. So, A very good evening, friends. Amar Ayyadgaru, President of the BMR Vignan Jodhi College of Engineering, and the Jain to Hyderabad. Professor Siri Naidu, Principal of the College. Professor Ian Rao, General Secretary of the College. Professor Venkateshwara Garu, Chief Administrative Officer of the BMR. Professor Radha Krishna, Chairman of the Extracurricular Activities of the College. Distinguished invitees, parents, student friends, Friends from media and ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I was thinking annual day means it will be more of entertainment, but it looks like it is serious business. <laughs> I think probably students have been so silent, it looks like Vienna students are the best in the amount of JAP right now. I was, I was principal for Uspani. Sports. 
So if any facets of this we have an expertise is there. But we need to identify what talent you are possessing. Once you identify it, then pursue rigorously, definitely you will be able to succeed in life. But unfortunately what happened, our system particularly in Andhra Pradesh, parents mostly guide the children. Because parents are worried a lot. Because at the first two level, your maturity level are not enough to take a decision on your own. That's why parents worry that they want to put in a professional course like engineering, medical, dental, or pharmacy, or what may be. Most of the parents in Andhra Pradesh, they like children to be studying engineering. Isn't it? Because master settlement, four years you get degree. Whether you like it or not, JIT will degree, isn't it? You know, coming to college also will degree. So that's why you want it here. But, but unless you have a degree is fine. The degree from JIT is like a passport. When you want to visit any country, you require a visa. For that, you require to improve your knowledge, knowledge base. Isn't it? So knowledge base is comes from your own hard work and sincerity. It's not that simply coming to the college, you cannot enhance knowledge. What you get in the classroom is only 25%. You cannot learn more than 25% in the classroom. Doesn't mean that one class is from tomorrow. But there are other means of acquiring knowledge. Today, technology is the greatest boon for all of us. Okay. When I was did my graduation, even we didn't have a calculator. We used to have a slide to block who all that. When I studied my masters, there was no computer, only one central computer at IIT Madras. All of us have to go, punch the cards, use the parts there, and this process naturally evening, they will give the errors, syntax errors are there. Your comma is missing, full stop is missing. Again, you make correction. It takes another day. Get back there. Execution of program takes number of days. But in today, it's not like that. You are advanced software. It is possible that split second, you can able to get a solution. Today, what happened is, 1970, we have a mini and mainframe computers. Big computers occupying very big building. Later on, 1980, we have desktop computers have come in. Computer came. In 1990, we have seen the client server. That means server is there. All the computers in Vienna are only 1,000 computers are connected. That means what have done, one computer is able to access from anywhere. In 2000, what happened? Global network. Global network possible for us. Sitting here, you can do wonders. Suppose you want to visit a, you want to visit various foreign countries. Sitting in your home, sitting in your house, using website, access to any of the airlines, get reservations, go to Frankfurt for breakfast, from there go to lunchtime to Tokyo, from there come in the evening time to New York. From there, dinner, we come back to Delhi. That's all possible because of the technology. Networking is there. So now this World Wide Web has given a lot of impetus for all of us. So today, World Wide Web, we have a various websites are available. So I think more girl students are there. They want to buy a jewelry for Telugu Ugali because parents wanted to give gift 10,000 rupees, not 20,000. So you can visit the website in Hyderabad. How many jewelry shops are there? You can visit the website, find out what are the designs available, what price is available, which are giving discount. Go we can decide to straight away go to the shop and buy them to come back. That's all because of technology. That's why we should make use of technology for betterment of our society or betterment of ourselves. So technology, today, what is the human capital? World art means human capital. We have a human resource stronger than anybody will employ anywhere in the country. But unfortunately, our students, Indian students, are targeting only seven English-speaking countries. There are more than 250 countries in the world. If you know Spanish, you know Japanese, Chinese, German, French, you can visit any of the countries across the world. You can find employment. Don't restrict it to only English-speaking countries. That's why I try to learn as many languages as possible. I'm sure that we also require it. Today, environment, we require soft skills. Soft skills means your personality. Personality means earlier, when a student or a teacher come to the classroom, nobody is to look at them, whether they're wearing chappal, whether they're wearing a shoe, or a good clothing, or a tie. Nobody is to bother. At that time, they will always see the intellectual capacity. But today, it's not like so. They will look at you, the way you dress, the way you conduct yourself, the behavior, 
your attitude, your teamwork, your concern will not, your attitude towards your colleagues, your attitude towards teachers, your attitude towards parents, everything is assessed. That's why soft skills are important component which we cannot ignore. Today industry, when they come to VNR Vikram Jyoti, they don't say to become 80% above graduates, no. They will see we are having soft skill and who are between 60 to 70 only. They don't prefer a 80% above because they know that we are not going to stay with them. So they will they choose you to their soft skills are important component. Apart from that, your learning approach, because you have to learn many things. College days are best days. You never get back college days. Even I wish that I should become student, but that's not possible for me now. Anyway, student days are best days, you should enjoy, but at the same time, you should try to learn as much as you can. Okay, but the anything you can buy in this world, except time, I always tell my friends, time management is very important. Use the time deliciously. Most of the time, students, of course, you should go to canteen, enjoy, chit chat, all that is required, but manage the time deliciously. You cannot buy the time. When is go back, it will be a problem. That's why you use the time optimally so that you are betterment. So today, technology doing wonders. What is the greatest technology in the world today? Internet. Internet tools are the technology. Using internet, anything you can do in the world. Today it's possible. Today you must have your friends are there, your brothers are there, your sisters, anybody or relation, somebody comes from abroad, either Europe or USA, they come to your house, they spend two months vacation in Hyderabad. But still, sitting at home, they work for the company. How it is possible? It is possible because of internet technology, information technology. What is information technology? The marriage between computers and records led to the invention of what is known as IT. IT is known nothing but to store the data, retrieve the data, manipulate the data, communicate with the data. That's what information technology today. Using IT, we can do wonders. Even traditional disciplines like mechanical, civil, even tall storage buildings are coming up, 100 storage buildings are coming up. So a lot of design, design marvelous, isn't it? All because of the IT, IT boom. Similarly, we also have 58 brands of cars that are in the world today, Indian market. Your design of the cars, your prototype, your modeling, simulation, all this possible in the power of technology. So use the technology for betterment, try to learn as much as you can. And I tell you, DNR Institute is one of the best colleges under J.I. to have Not that, not that I come to annual day, I have to pray, but it's a fact. I compliment the, all the faculty, all the students for contribution. But this is the college maintains a strict attendance. Even if they list the telephone, they never eat. I am telling you, my own experience, last time one girl student gave me jitters for me. Several phone calls from Chief Minister's office with 62.8 percentage. But college said, I am sorry, sir, your vice chancellor, we are not going to fight. I appreciate it because the, not that attendance is great, but coming to the college is important, then only you can learn many things. Don't underestimate the potential of the teacher. Every teacher has a talent. Try to learn many things from the teacher. So I always advise you in there, our student friends is. Never forget your parents, never forget your teachers, never forget your alpha man. So wherever you are there, wherever you are there, anywhere in the world, when you come to Hyderabad, visit the college, meet your teachers and also be with your parents, don't neglect them. Okay. So and also come student appeal to that our Indian tradition, women are symbolic for Indian traditional culture. Wherever European countries, whichever country are there, Never give up Indian culture. Of course, I am not confident to provide an here. I am not confident to say anything because I have produced so many films. They have shown a different ethics, values, and tradition, culture, what form of students should come up. All this you must have seen the films. But the only thing is, you don't apply your mind. But my appeal, personal appeal, is that at least I have seen 25 countries in the world. But India is a great country. We will always India. Okay, so that's why don't give up the culture. You can also learn other cultures, other languages, other food habits, nothing wrong. But don't give up our culture, our tradition. Definitely with this message, I will congratulate all the students of Vienna, Vikram Jyoti, all the final year students. Wherever you are there, the college at your doorstep, 
Also, university will try to help you if any problems, wherever you are across. And also compliment all the faculty, management, for giving opportunity to be here. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It is our honor to have you here among us. Now it's time for the release of Pignana Deepikalu, again by our Chief Guest, Dr. D. N. Deppi Rao.
Sasineka gold medal for best of my girl student in ECE. Distributed by the ECE Sara Maya goes to Nagasri Somya with 84.44%.
what is being taken on behalf of her by her parents? That is parents. A big round of applause, please. Srimati Surapakeni Kumudhwati Memorial Gold Medal for Best Outdoor Girls Student in IT instituted by Sri SSR Koteshwar Rao goes to Sirisha Tamina with 75.33%. And now request C.H. Venkateshwar Rao Garu, Chief Administrator Vignan Jyoti to give away the gold medal. Professor T.R. Doss Memorial Gold Medal for Best Outgoing Student in the of the Institute, instituted by C.C.H. Venkateshwar Rao, goes to D. Nagasri Soumya from the ECE branch with 84.44%. Srimati Devineni Kanakamma and Sri Devineni Krishnaya Memorial Gold Medal for Best All-Rounder of the Institute, instituted by Sri T. Sita Ramaya, goes to Y. Sarat Chandra from ECE with 81.95%. Ananta Srinivas Memorial Gold Medal for the first year B.Tech student who secured highest marks among students of all the branches instituted by C.B. M.P. Sankara goes to T. Ravali from ECE branch with 86.5%. Student who secured highest marks among students of all the branches, instituted by BNR BJIET, goes to Kundapreti Indra Jamu from ECE with 88 percent. The Institute Gold Medal for third year BTEC student who secured highest marks among students of all the branches, instituted by BNR BJIET. Goes to see H. Vinay Kumar from EP. Srimati Dasari Anasuyama Memorial Gold Medal for Best M.Tech Student in P.E. Instituted by Sri T.J. Ramesh goes to Sravanti G. from P.E. branch with 84.5%.
Sridhari Sita Ramai Memorial Gold Medal for best M.Tech student in AMS instituted by Sri D.J. Ramesh goes to Uday Kumar B with 78.64%. Achyutta Brahmaya Memorial Gold Medal for Best M.Tech Student in SC. Instituted by Srimadhi Gokhani Swarajya Lakshmi goes to Sirisha C. 78.57%. Thank you. 